So as you can see, I am jailbroken now and I have the Yalu Dark application, the updated one right here. And uh, this is the updated version that I pushed a couple of minutes ago, so you can download it from the description down below. It supports all the devices listed in here and it reflects the Yalu Beta 6. So it's the latest uh, support with it. And as you can see, I do have Cydia. Let me try to open it. Sorry for the theme, but um, as you can see, Cydia starts and opens normally. And then I can find my installed things. Let me try to install mobile terminal, but I think I already have it. And terminal, yes, I do. I already have it, but I'm going to reinstall it to show you. You can see it starts uh, installing. So Cydia works perfectly with this. Uh, look at the disco did a very good job on the beta 6. It fixes a lot of things. You can check out the uh, change log. It's available on um, Yalu's official project page. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it works with no problem. So um, I'm going to go in here and show you. Yep, there we go. So yeah, now let's see how to do it on Windows. Alrighty, so as I said, some of you requested me to make a tutorial on how to jailbreak the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, iPod Touch, 6th generation, iPad mini, iPad Pro and so on on Windows. So I decided to make it. It's as simple as it gets and it's the same procedure as on a Mac. You need to download CDI Impactor, check for update and then do the job. Let me show you, as I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, the device is jailbroken and um, you need to know two things about this jailbreak. I already presented this jailbreak uh, in here on this video and for iPhone 6 in here. So if you want to check them out, go ahead. It's in the description down below. But you need to know that the Yalu jailbreak IPA and my uh, Yalu jailbreak IPA, the uh, Yalu Dark, are two different things. If you want to go ahead and uh, get the white one, the um, uh, the Yalu jailbreak with that simple interface. Uh, you can go ahead here on yalu.qwertyurioff.com, download the official uh, thing, uh, which oh no, he didn't provide any IPA. So you have to you you have to actually compile it yourself from the project. You click in here, and if you want, you go ahead in here and compile it and take whatever. Here is the support the devices. But I also created a, my own fork of this project. I took the project, modified it and uploaded it on my GitHub. This is what a fork is. And um, yeah, it's a little bit different. It has a different interface and it's updated. It reflects the Yalu Beta 6. So everything in Beta 6 is in here as well. But it's a different UI and I provide the IPA. So if you want to download the project on a Mac and fiddle with it, go ahead. But if you're on Windows, you go ahead in the description, you will see this page. Go on IPA build. If you can, it's recommended to check the uh, hash and you download the uh, beta, beta 6 IPA. This is, uh, remember, my version. If you want to do it with the stock uh, yellow jailbreak, go ahead, take it from... Um, uh, the source code compile it on a Mac, but it won't. You won't be able to do this on Windows with the original Yalu, because as you probably um, already see, it's um, the problem is that Yalu jailbreak IPA isn't present on Yalu website. Only the code. So you're going to, need to compile it on a Mac. But in my case, with mine, you can do it already. So um, yeah. You need, to, you need to connect the device after you open CD Impactor. Let me check for updates first. Sometimes Soric pushes a couple of updates. No, this time he did not. And connect your iPhone. And from here, I think everybody knows you. You need to wait for it to get in here. Drop the IPA and log in. And click OK. You need to log in with your normal Apple ID and password that you use to get apps. And it will do this and then if it asks you for certificates, you click OK and you should be able to get the IPA installed on your device and use it uh, on the, uh, the jailbreak purposes. Right, so you have to still be careful. This is still beta and it's beta 6, but it's way more stable than the beta 1 and so on. So there shouldn't be any problem. Right, so now I have Yalu Dark on my screen. Uh, if you didn't trust the profile, you need to go ahead on the um, on the device, on settings, then on general, scroll down to profiles, and you need to trust your email in order to get the um, 
the IPA to, to work. So let me show you. All right, so as you can see now, I restarted the uh, device and the theme is no longer present. I do have Cydia, but I cannot open it because it's not jailbroken. So even if I try to open iFile or something, it's not going to work. What I need to do is to open Yalu Dark. And as you can see, it says jailbreak now. I just need to press jailbreak now. It will jailbreak the device and it will go back to the uh, themes that I had and things like this. I'm not going to do now because it will restart the device and interrupt the uh, recording, but you understood the idea. You simply need to press jailbreak now, it will restart your phone and you will be jailbroken and Cydia will work again. You have to do this unfortunately every time you restart your phone. I restarted my iPod and as you can see I do have Cydia, but it doesn't start and none of the applications I installed with it start. But the uh, second I jailbreak again, it will repair everything and everything will go back to the state when I was jailbroken. For example, the themes, the tweaks and so on. So this is basically it, kind of the same process as on a Mac, but some of you requested uh, to, um, me to make a video on how to do it on Windows, so there it is. Peace out.